Well, May is Older American Month, and what better group to feature than the Senior Law Program? I'm here with Diane Farron. She's the Executive Director, and I'm thrilled to be inside this library. We are celebrating all the great work that you have been doing here in the Valley, helping thousands of seniors. We are grateful to have you here, and out of this building, we do help thousands of seniors, and we take care of the legal needs they have at no cost to them. It's a very unique program. It's something we want all the seniors watching to know about. Uh, what is it unique about your law practice here? At Senior Law Program, to qualify for services, it has to be a senior individual living in Southern Nevada, so that's Clark, Nye, uh, Lincoln, mm -hmm. and Esmeralda counties, and then it has to be in an area of law that we help with so that folks who are low income or on a tight fixed income, we are able to help. Many seniors are surprised that they don't have to be destitute to get our services at no cost, but it's on purpose that many seniors who encounter a small problem to somebody else for a mm -hmm. fixed income senior is an insurmountable obstacle and they can't afford to hire a private attorney. We can help them even though they might not qualify for a poverty-based program. Uh, you are really stepping up and coming to the aid of folks, uh, and many of them in, in very serious situations. You're, you're coming to them in a time of need. You have some amazing programs. Let's talk about all the things that you offer to, Thank, to seniors. Thank yep. you, JJ. We do quite a bit in the area of basic estate planning, and that has to do around the cornerstone of every senior, and truly everybody, should have a power of attorney for health care. Mm -hmm. That is a document mm -hmm. that speaks for you at a time you can't speak for yourself, so that the economic and social impact of having that important document done cannot be overstated. We offer clinics in our office here in the large conference room of up to 12 seniors, and that would be for the power of attorney healthcare document and getting a tutorial in the education on basic estate planning. Mm. But they have the opportunity to leave with a completed document and these clinics have also given us an opportunity to expand our capacity by recruiting volunteer attorneys to help us from the community. I know you have some amazing yes. volunteers and that's actually just helping you expand what it is you're doing and expanding the numbers of, of seniors you're able to reach. This is a nonprofit. Uh, the program's yes. been around in the Valley here for a few decades, but as a nonprofit uh, for, for over a decade, mm -hmm. tell us how you are funded. The funding we receive is from grants through Aging and Disability Services Division. We also get a portion of Nevada Bar Foundation dollars that are earned on attorney trust accounts, as well as some court filing fees. Mm -hmm. In addition to those three major tenants of uh, the type of funding we get, we started fundraising and other activities last year that mm -hmm. have shown some real promise. And to the extent that I'm excited to share with you, we are are going to be able to expand from a staff of 12 today to we're hiring an additional legal assistant which is going to directly impact the number of seniors who can be helped. Great, so you will be 13. Yes, and lucky 13. That's wonderful. <laughs> Congrats, we like that number here at Channel 13. Yes. Uh, and this is incredible because the people you have working here, like yourself, are so dedicated uh, to, the, to, the, to the wellness and, and, and the you know, the success of our seniors here yes, locally. Yes. You're really helping lift people up. If people want to apply for services, how do they qualify? Being a resident in Southern Nevada and age 60 and over, and then being in an area of law that our four hardworking, amazing staff attorneys handle is all that is necessary to qualify for service. There might be a wait time because as you mentioned, as a nonprofit, our funding is limited, even if the demand for our services is unlimited. Mm -hmm. um, so it might be a, a wait time of four to five months to see an individual attorney, but we do expedite three types of cases okay. so that we can make sure those seniors who have had a terminal diagnosis Ooh. are able to be seen that day or the next day to get their affairs in order. That is a huge peace of mind for them and, and their family. If a senior is suspected to be the victim of elder abuse or elder exploitation, that's an expedited appointment as well. And then sadly and particularly as we go in to the summer months, those seniors who receive an eviction notice. 
mm. and don't have another place to reasonably be resettled in, yep. we are able to help and we provide all of the legal advice, information, and support around that, as well as bring together other community resources we've identified yep. to make sure they're connected and that as holistically as possible, we can help these seniors. It's amazing what you're doing here. I am so impressed uh, with the efficiency. And uh, this place is thriving. Make sure you have their, their phone number. Senior Law Program located on Sahara, beautiful offices, and they are here to serve you.